your first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Brad Travis. Uh, good evening again, everyone. We've got a little haze out there tonight. It's still cloudy, and I think it's going to be cloudy most of the day tomorrow, and that's going to keep us from hitting those low to mid 90s. But once the sunshine comes back later in the week, we'll probably easily hit 93, 95, and over the weekend, 97. It's 80 degrees right now, so it's going to be a warm night. Air conditioner working overtime, 81 in the Shoals, 78 in Fort Payne, right around 77 in Scottsboro, and even the sheltered valleys aren't that much cooler tonight. Most of us in the mid to upper 70s. Notice the clouds here. This is an enhanced satellite view and what it does. It color codes the colder cloud tops out there, and that just means they're thicker. They're higher up in the air too. The rain down here from New Orleans and a very disorganized area, low pressure out in the Gulf of Mexico, even though it's disorganized, it's still going to bring a lot of rain to parts of Mexico and parts of South Texas, and they're talking 10 15 inches of rain roughly south of Corpus Christi through South Padre and on into Brownsville. This will likely become a tropical tropical storm Alberto, the first named of the Atlantic season. It was already forecast to do so by the 10 o'clock advisory, uh, but they kept it as a developing tropical system. Here's the rainfall potential through Friday. So if you have a trip planned along the Gulf Coast, notice not a lot of rain there. The problem is going to be with the rough surf. More on that in just a second. You can see that heavy rainfall from Corpus Christi and purple down to Brownsville, just south of Houston. This could interrupt flights in and out of Houston and uh, maybe down there towards uh, just to the south of Waco, so something to watch. Here's the area in purple. We're talking five to seven foot waves as they crash down there uh, from Gulf Shores, Dolphin Island, even over to Destin. So your biggest problem if you're planning a trip here the next few days is going to be the high rip current out there. Uh, some of those beaches are likely still having the double red flag. So even though you're checking the weather app, you're always checking the weather, the surf conditions are going to be rough all the way through Saturday morning. Here's this developing tropical cyclone. Again, the track takes it well into Mexico. This isn't going to be a threat to us, uh, but again, the Gulf Coast beaches expecting the rough surf down there and the heaviest rain will be in Mexico and southern Texas. Here's the latest uh, daily planner for tomorrow. We start with the clouds. We finish the day pretty much with a solid deck of clouds. It's because that wind out of the south and the upper levels is bringing all that in from the due south. Rain chances low, but we'll keep it a 20% chance Saturday and Sunday, but uh, definitely not much. Most of us won't see rain until probably probably Monday or Tuesday of next week. So nearly a week without rain and with this heat, we're talking 93 the first day of summer coming up Thursday, 95 Friday, 96 Saturday. So again, your grass is going to start baking. Your garden is going to be starving for some water. So probably going to need to turn that irrigation system on if you haven't turned it on yet. And if you don't have irrigation, you're just going to have to get out there and hose things down.